Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Alan Wake. Let's continue. So, we're supposed to go back to our room, and then we're just going to trigger some darkness, probably maybe even a cutscene. Skip. There's kind of nothing else we can do. Like, the storm is coming, and, and power is going to go out. Hmm. And so we're just going back to the room and hey, wake. The doors were locked. Hartman and the nurse right would have shot, keys, huh? but there Type was no right way to room. get my hands on them. You can get to your room by those stairs, wake. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. Hmm. There's a shadow inside my head. This is a QR code, by the way. Let's get else is a, blur. a picture of that. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. Hmm. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. And he's like I looking I behind her. Mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants. Hmm. And the story will come true. Yeah, that seems seems accurate to me. That this is that some evil presence is using him. If you want to take it and believe it that way, like it might makes a little bit more sense than what we we're in right now. And see, right here it says Wake, but maybe his name isn't Alan Wake, but Tom Wake. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Hmm. Put that down. I need help. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Hmm. If he needs that much supervision that somebody's watching him directly, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Then he shouldn't be near something like a. Let's see, we, here's an Alan Wake Night Shadows video game in an Xbox 360 cross promotion. That's ah, stupid. And we've. Can't go here. Nothing new here. I'm taking it. Just immediately come over here and see if we can turn on the light. Hmm. One of the things that would make all the sense in the world is they would let him have a flashlight. If if they're gonna let him have a a uh, let's just make sure we don't have any flashlight, but if they're gonna let him have a type rally, they should they would have let him have a flashlight. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. Hmm. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. <sighs> okay. The backstage is I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all destiny. my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. So maybe we'll get a ton of manuscript pages right now. That would be interesting. Hmm. Thor hit the nurse in the head. Hmm. on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made hmm. at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? Do you mean with you? Street. 
the door Tell shut behind us. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I, I keep expecting you. some jump scares, but this game. Scary paintings. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. Mm. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not mm. even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's so boring to sit here and listen to this and do nothing. This is not what you do in a video game. This is what you do in the TV show or radio drama or story. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing your voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognize the words, the phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Hmm. So apparently these keys mostly just unlock everything. Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We hmm. need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking so I don't asses, think this guy's real either. A real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy out. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Is there something about the cutout that I'm not seeing? It's... looks like him pretty well. The sudden stop. International bestseller, that was his last book, I guess. And we go from that conversation in engine to this cutscene out of engine. And more. Hmm. Did it just fill in all the things I didn't read before or didn't find before? Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go! Hmm. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. It seems like the darkness is either helping me or just killing people that it doesn't like interfering. I don't have a flashlight, by the way, so forget. Can't go in there. And now we are tapping A as the darkness is slowly approaching. What is the darkness trying to accomplish? Do they, do they want me to write the book? Or is it the other author that's writing the book and they just don't care? This is a more difficult quick time event than the one before. Oh, and I guess I am 
I was controlling that? Was I? No, not really. And the keys don't unlock everything. I can't run right now for some reason. They've made this more difficult and uneasy. That seems seems un unrealistic, like unfair. What's the point of saying I want to play easy when the game it itself kind of is refusing to allow you to play easy, or it's making it? I have like one flare. <laughs> what would have happened if I hadn't gotten that flare? And see, this is like a commercial. It's not even a, it's not even a, one of those cartoon uh, Twilight Zone episodes. This is a color television, and we've been seeing it mostly in black and white. So that doesn't make any sense for commercials to be in color, and the rest of the TV sections be to be in black and white. Kill me, but also free me. And clearly, that's the example. Also, it seems like this guy is definitely. Let's click that. There's something fishy with our our real editor. Like he's probably just the darkness too. A friendly face, a scary face, a face for every need. And why am I running around looking for collectibles? I couldn't care. But we should however look just to see. There's tons of missing pages in this section. There's Tons of missing pages we missed in the previous section, uh, too. We are so done with bothering with any of that. The gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Hmm. Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Look at the house! We got batteries, we got flares, but we've got nothing else. Hmm. That's quite the dead end to run into at the very beginning of a hedge maze. Do I have a gun? No, I don't, so... And I guess if I wasn't running all over the place, I also don't trust Emil. Is Emil... Or... 
our editor guy, I wouldn't. I like the game has now given us, I think, two reasons to not trust him. Hmm. But everybody seems to be trying to influence him. This feels like just kind of a writer generally complaining about editors and other people influencing his art. Which, fair enough, I mean, it does happen, but then also writers are kind of notorious for not meeting deadlines, too. Hmm. Uh, extra... We're back to batteries, so we were in the bad position where we had no batteries, and now we're perfectly fine. Hmm. And you can hear somebody talking about TVs, and that might be Thor and Odin. But I wouldn't want them to be bad guys. Is that Dr. Hartman? It is. And the birds, birds are their own issue, and as best as I can figure, you just don't kind of want to brighten the light, because does that work any better to target, or does it not? Flare gun. More energizer ba batteries. Hmm. And in this position, what's the deal with the axe people? Are they police now? Are they workers at the sanitarium? Are they uh, axe lumber yard workers? And when you start to think, think it through, there's not a lot of explanation. We're just picking up the gun over and over again. And it's the same scenario over and over again. Mostly speaking, I would say like once in a game, you would do a power reboot in the middle, or maybe at the very beginning and you do an ability tease where you start like, you start with all the weapons and then you lose everything and have to go back to the, to being weak. That uh, I think you're probably pushing it if you do an ability tease and in the middle of the game you you become unarmed but you definitely don't have both e every single episode 
start with you losing everything and playing over again. Uh, Telltale, in their episodic releases of games, doesn't have to really deal with any of that since it's just always conversations and such that or well, some if they do reset things it's a mill made you Tom do it interesting so is that how this is gonna go down our current writer made Tom work with the darkness before to get a story <laughs> you just shouldn't have people appearing behind people like this you would have to do incredibly good audio if you were going for that idea so that you could hear the creatures uh, recently I played Dead, Dead Space and in that scenario, yeah, maybe once or twice an enemy snuck up behind you, but not because they just magically appeared. Uh, behind you, but because they were there to begin with. And it seems pretty pointless to even do this. Like if I'm gonna do this, I might as well come over here and do this. Hmm. Yeah, you can't make an episodic game and reset the equipment. Ow! Which is funny, because I think he probably could do something like a Metroid or Metroidvania game. Wow. And this is a cutscene. Well, nobody's gonna... That guy had been, I guess, where's the darkness even getting all these people? And then I just backed into it. And then immediately you jump from that cutscene into the car. Who's driving? Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. Mm. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew mm. you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. Mm. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Hmm. Why is he going to the Anderson farm? Is there any reason for him to believe Alice is alive? In any scenario, whether he's hallucinating. That's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. Mm. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Hmm. Al, 
How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al! I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists hmm. it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, hmm. man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. This is a stretch. This is a really long stretch. And so we could go full circle here, and he could wake up in a car just like the beginning of episode one. Well, not quite the beginning of episode one. But instead, this is just an excuse to get me back in the forest. For what is now fourth or fifth time. Checkpoint reached. I lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. And we're just doing this Barry. again. Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine! Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's hmm. like a sheer wall! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a Taken! Use a flare, Barry! Taken? That's a new word. Yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? This is... You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al! I'll be waiting! Hmm. Well, if it Barry, just wait keeps us me, okay? on the farm Al, area instead of taking us to the now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. There's Barry, assuming he's real. So I guess if we get down there and we just are not wandering through the forest so much it might feel a little different like I, I don't want to get hit by an imaginary train that, that's my fear uh, and we've got nothing so We need to find something. These things are gonna do damage to me. Seriously, that's all that was. Now the music's gone, and then it's going to pick back up. And see, over here, I can see another thing. I'm going towards every flashing thing trying to find one in hopes that one of it's a flashlight or a gun. If I die here, that's not very fair. Any sequence like this, you don't want to be able to actually die at all. You want it to, to always just increase tension without relieving that tension by actually 
killing a person and disappointing them. Well, we can use this. So now if we could go find a way to turn that light on, which is probably up here. Still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. I I really have no clue as to why that previous generator puzzle was so much more difficult than the others. Seems like just bad programming. That they put in the wrong number. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. So we've got a flashlight, but no batteries. Trust no one in the dark. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a doctor that's saying that? Forget that. Why can't I pick up the weapons, by the way? Like, that is a good question to ask is, why can I not just pick up these weapons that the other people are throwing at me and use them? When I stand in the light, my health immediately refills. Interesting. And it stops the enemies from attacking. Hmm. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. <sighs> Switch to a heavy-duty flashlight, I suppose. I suppose that's what you want to do, no matter what. Lithium batteries. Hmm. It's it's almost contractual at this point. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Hmm. A lot of games have publishers, and the publishers negotiate specific numbers when they make contracts. So you might see. And for example, a Lego game, at least 150 collectible gold Lego pieces in every game. Not because the game specifically is well suited for that, but just because it's contractually obliged. To the right time and place. Hmm. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. So you could just give them all to me? I'd seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. So we just gotta be careful now because we don't have any gun. Hmm. So we're back to bear traps which seems like you can you can walk around them fairly safely as long as you see them reflect in the light which works pretty well hmm. now we've got a shotgun the gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. So every single time the you start an area, you have nothing to collect, and then 
uh, you have to collect the same gun over and over again. And the reason a game like this would have so much product placement tells me also that they ran out of budget. Or they were certainly running low. You don't compromise your art that much. Should I run or should I? Should I fight? I think you just run. If I can just get up to this light, your life is filled and everybody around you disappears. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. And so we're getting to this point to get a car, I think. This is Hello? like the Anybody same cabin. Ah! This is Barry. the same layout. It, they moved the kitchen around, but... Danny. Who's Danny? The front door was locked. Hmm. But this is the same thing as the cabin on the lake and just with a few different pieces of furniture moved in around. This will probably be a cutscene. Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again and moonshine you know hmm. it makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it they're in the loony bin but my buddy Danny I lost him something's gone wrong with him it's not hmm. him like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie <laughs> the best friends Suddenly, the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Hmm. I think I'm gonna stick with the shotgun, anyways. And it looks like it's something you could collect, but it's not. I've run through every possible course in my head. Hmm. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Hmm. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. Hmm. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero hmm. will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Smoke. Coming out of that TV. So. Now we kind of, I guess, have a slight explanation of what's going on. Hmm. Are we going out this door? I know I guess you can. Still a good distance away. 
I'd need a car to get there fast. I have so much pre-programmed into my head as a video game player, as someone who's played so many games. As far as just look everywhere, collect everything, it's if Barry wasn't up there, really, was really difficult down at the farm. to... For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. Mm. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Like, it's really difficult to break against that idea. Like, I just saw a coffee, drove by it. Seems like we probably have stronger beams, but the battery is limited. Now, it doesn't seem like the car has any real damage bar. Mostly I'm just trying to stay on the road and go in the right direction. And if we just follow that... If we just follow the general... General where route, we should be all right. Hmm. Hmm. At least it seemed like it. We were going to be all right. It's just a hayfield to to allow the player to drive around. Hmm. Let's just get out. The, the truth of the matter is, here's the deal. You gotta get out and you gotta run. Which is almost, an, of course, what's gonna happen. fought one of those before and it was a lot more difficult. Checkpoint reached. I have no clue what he thinks he's gonna find. Hmm. I guess this is the way in. It seems silly. There's these red, what are these, rockets? Hmm. There's no way to set those off. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind hmm. of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. There's like red rockets everywhere. Heavy duty loud, man. I would really like a flashbang right about now. Let's see, flashbangs, flares. Pump action shotgun, take it. So we're having a very different experience 
Like, this... This feels like, okay, time, time for the game to be over. Time to turn into a completely different thing. And see, this music's playing right now, and I already know that content ID is, is content ID in some of these things, so... So, this music, this whole section is risky, and you may not even be hearing the music. kinds of things. Hmm. That's it for the flashbangs. Like, and so I tried to light those fireworks, but that I can't do it. It's just programmed. And I guess if I got in the light, I would, I would probably refill my health. Seriously. And here's the thing. How are we on manuscripts and missing pages? Yeah, we're done. As far as that, this is the end of episode 4. There's probably going to be a wrap up of episode 5 and then maybe some DLC. Otherwise, let's see. TV shows 10 of 14. Radio stations 11 of 7. 62 of 106 manuscripts found really haven't gotten very many extra coffee thermoses though. We're only about 50 of 100. Um, cardboard standees found though none, so that's still not the case. Hmm. Well, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down, links down below. It's not going unnoticed that me dying in the middle of this big boss fight was pretty anti-dramatic, and now I'm ending the episode, and that's pretty an anti-dramatic too. If that's the right word. Uh, yep. It's kind of sucks. Shouldn't be able to die in a sequence like that. Thanks for watching again. Have a good evening.